one of the most dangerous negotiations you can make are the ones where you just have a very weak person on the other side and they're just giving up every point. And some, I, there have been times when I've looked at a potential deal and I just said, this can't be good for them. And it ends up costing you a lot of time um, because what ends up happening is they just, they don't really fulfill their end of the obligation. There's, there's, there's no interest or sort of energy that they put into their side of the deal and you end up having to look for a different partner because you made too good a deal for yourself. Um, I don't know how much that relates to poker, but I, I, I do feel like sometimes, I'm, I guess what I get from poker is that I'm, I'm always putting myself in the position of the person I'm negotiating with. And when I feel like I've crossed that line where they've just let me run over them on every point, I actually try and pull back and, and make the deal something that will work for both sides.